I think, you know, it's a question firstly of how you define industrial biotechnology and I would, I would throw into that as well agricultural biotechnology rather than, rather than medical sciences. Um, I think the biggest challenge is, is a question of sustainable intensification. Um, how we can bring these technologies to allow us to ramp up production without increasing the footprint um, that is being employed today or even ultimately decreasing the footprint. We have to do that in an environment where we unlink carbon usage from development. Um, and I think here is a major opportunity for industrial biotech in terms of looking at a whole new world of biomaterials um, based on, on lignocellulose as, as a primary source um, to replace fossil fuel based chemicals. Today, roughly about 66% of our chemicals come from fossil fuels and we need to move away from that. We need to move away from that in terms of developing as well, developing our economies. I think ultimately, believe it or not, probably the most significant problems are actually policy problems. Um, I think that we have many of the technologies today that we need to transform our world and to be able to live on a sustainable planet. Um, I think the big question we ask is why are some of the technologies that we have not being used? I think very often policymakers make short-term incorrect decisions which are actually more damaging to the sustainability of the planet in the long term than they are helpful. But that's one of the issues, I think, that really facing policy, being able to educate people in a much broader sense so that the politicians ultimately will not be afraid to make the correct policy decisions. GM is part of the solution. It's not the total solution. I think we need an armamentarium of, techno of technologies. Um, I think part of, the, part of the solution as well is analyzing where we have degraded lands. Um, there is about two billion hectares of de degraded land, uh, agricultural and forest land worldwide. 75% of that is in Africa. And that is a huge opportunity, both in terms of economic opportunity and in terms of maintaining the sustainability of the planet. So I think there are certain areas where GM will be essential. We're dealing with certain pests and diseases where there may be no other solutions. GM is not the magic bullet. We need integrated agriculture. I think that's been one of the lessons probably the last 20, 25 years that we need to rotate crops, we need to change land. That's very difficult to do on the scale that we need to do it, but I think we need to build in these approaches. So it's a combination of proper practice utilization of degraded resources, restitution of forests, prevention of deforestation, and technology tools such as GM.